New Zealand's Laurel Hubbard has never sought publicity and exposure, but after she became the first openly transgender athlete to compete at the Olympics, she has made constant headlines. The soft-spoken, media-shy weightlifter said she would likely retire from the sport and hopes her landmark appearance should be forgotten fast as sport becomes more open and inclusive. I don't think it should be historic. You know, I think that um, as we move into a sort of new and more understanding world, uh, people are starting to realise that um, people like me are just people. You know, we are human. And, and as such, um, I hope that just by being here, um, that's enough. She made an unexpected early exit on Monday, eliminated just 10 minutes into her over 87 kilogram contest after failures in her opening three lifts. She was born male and transitioned eight years ago and was allowed to compete in women's events by a 2015 International Olympic Committee consensus. But her participation in the Games has sparked a huge debate on whether being more inclusive towards transgender athletes competing in women's events means disadvantaging athletes who are born as women. Hubbard says she hopes more transgender people will be encouraged, not just in sports, but in all aspects of life. I just hope that if people are undergoing any difficulty or struggle within their lives, not necessarily related to sport, but to anything really, that um, they can perhaps see that there are opportunities in the world, that you know, there, are, there are opportunities to live uh, authentically and as we are. This year's Games is considered to be the most inclusive, with the highest number of openly LGBT athletes.